Dear friends of St. Angela, welcome to the Piazza of St. Angela, a place where we can talk and to know St. Angela. This time our mother Angela says, Let it be recalled as well that each one should be willing to embrace bodily fasting also as something necessary and as the means and way to true spiritual fasting through which all the voices and errors are cut away from the mind. In various traditions, including the Catholic Church, there is a practice of abstinence or fasting at particular times in the Church's liturgical calendar. Currently, we are approaching the Lenten season, which in the Catholic Church is usually marked by a period of abstinence or fasting. Is this practice still relevant for us today? St. Angela saw this practice is something necessary and something that we should be willing to do. She saw that fasting from food can be a means to spiritual fasting and that as a result of spiritual fasting, vices and errors would be pared away. What are our errors? Have we, for example, become too attached to our need for material goods, the internet, social media, etc.? What are the vices for our world today? For example, greed for money and wealth can make people corrupt, and many relationships break up because of fighting over the need for money and wealth. Through acts of self-denial, we can take steps to redress the balance of our relationship to things that have gone out of balance, and as a result, this can allow us to enter more into relationship with Christ. Our acts of self-denial can also help us to be able to feel or to be in solidarity with people who are lacking. In doing this, we train our hearts to be more sensitive to those in need. So, abstinence or fasting is very relevant for us today. Let us ask God to enable us to make acts of self-denial through abstinence or fasting in this grace-filled time. Let us listen once again to Angela's message for us. Let it be recalled as well that each one should be willing to embrace bodily fasting also as something necessary and as the means and way to true spiritual fasting through which all the voices and errors are cut away from the mind. Let us pray. O Lord, in this Lenten season, lift our hearts and through our acts of self-denial, bestow on us, through our perseverance, the grace to express our longing for Jesus. St. Angela, pray for us. Amen.